the Chicago Bulls who soar to take a one to nothing lead. Two nights later, the Knicks hustle back, weaving their way past the Bulls as they headed to Chicago tied at one apiece. Returning home for the first time in a week, the Bulls look to Air Jordan to carry them once again. And in true Jordanian fashion, he responded with a scintillating 40-point performance. It was a paramount struggle for New York. Game three was never close as the beleaguered Knicks saw the Bulls go up two games to one. The physical condition of Michael Jordan has Chicago wondering if he can go all out today, while the Knicks are focusing on returning to New York with the series all even. And welcome to Sold Out Chicago Stadium. CBS Sports coverage continues in the 1989 NBA Hey, it is game four of the Eastern Conference semifinal between the New York Knicks and the Chicago Bulls who lead the series two games to one. And hello again, everyone. I'm Dick Stockton. Let's put priorities first. From all of us in Chicago on this crew, happy Mother's Day, everyone. Now, the other bit of news, Michael Jordan will play. Now, how effective Jordan will be still remains the big question this afternoon. He re-injured a groin muscle in the second quarter yesterday and limped off the court after the game playing a lot. Now, the question is, how will he be? Well, there was a big crowd around the entrance into Chicago Stadium when he arrived earlier today in a fancy fashion. Tim Brandt talked to him. What's your condition, Michael? How do you feel? I feel a lot better. You know, I got treatment all day yesterday and all evening, and, uh, you know, still sore. I know I'm going to have to play with the, with the sore, but, you know, I'm going to play. What kind of treatment did you take last night? Uh, more or less, you know, I can't give you all the doctor technology of it, <laughs> but... Uh, it was more or less electric stem and you know ice and you know, more more electric stem and you know, I stayed hooked up to this machine for about four or five hours and more or less just icing it. Today, Newman, Oakley, Ewing, Jackson, and Wilkins for the Knicks. Pippen, Grant, Cartwright, Jordan, and Hodges for the Bulls. Right now, before we start, let's send you over to Tim Brandt. Tim, put and connect. Jordan is not a hundred percent. But he may be better than anyone else in the league, <laughs> even at 75. This place, the roof would have been torn off if that ball had gone in. But you can see that Michael Jordan is playing hurt. Jordan was fouled by Gerald Wilkins. Well, I think he's eliminated any thoughts here that he's had to dominate a game. That's his playoff average. He missed a triple-double yesterday by one assist. Focus on the little uh, nuances of yesterday's ball game. Jordan to Cartwright, pick and roll, perfect. See, that is there all day. Anytime uh, that the the, uh... the Chicago bench has picked it up. Michael Jordan with his first shot of the game is good. Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan. only perimeter player at small forward or the guard position. Jordan off the screen hits another. Two jumpers the same way off the screen. No one near them, and the Bulls lead by three. Right now, this is interesting. The Knicks have their starting unit. Everyone's back in there right now. Goaltending. Jordan gets the basket, and Ewing is called for goaltending. Since joining the Bulls five years ago, he has played with 43 different teammates. He's had at least three new starters each year and has had three different coaches, so the stability aspect has not been there for Jordan. The Knicks high scorer. See, I like his game today. He's really going to the hole. How about this guy? He went to the hole. Foul on the basket counts. You know what's interesting about that pass, Nick? They got it in quick, and Michael Jordan took off. Gerald Wilkins never, never got over half court, and that's his man right there. Sidney Green commits the foul, so not only did Wilkins not get back, but he's been struggling from the field, as has Johnny Newman. And the Knicks really haven't found that offense from the key guard positions other than Jackson and the small forward points by Grant and Pippen combined. But Jordan with 14 and Cartwright 15. Charles Davis. Bulls are running nicely. Well. Oh, See, here's the uh, beautiful fast break. The decision maker right there finds the guy in the opposite side of the lane. Of whether or not you break it. And that was Michael Jordan right there in that in And five rebounds. Jordan makes both free throws. And then see where the pass goes. Jordan has attempted only five shots from the field, and he goes to the line. So very few shots by Jordan, but he has gotten fouled and will now go to the line. Team. Force him to give it up and make someone beat you with the perimeter shot. Not point shot. Five seconds is a lot game, and in the first half of this. Jordan. Michael Jordan can't stop that. 
Couldn't do it. He had the play inside and running the court is Grant. Yes, again, a work of art. Now, here's how he threads the needle. You'll see it. He good to lay right off the dribble, looking down inside. Beautiful. Wilkins, meanwhile, with his third foul, sending Michael to the line. Jordan has 20. You know, Brent Tucker is in for Gerald Wilkins. Struggling today, Wilkins. With Jordan. He moved Tucker as close as he could inside and took the 18 foot. Well, Trent Tucker's playing him smart. He's not going to get beat off the dribble. He's saying to Mike. Proud at her son. Jordan. Off the glass. That may have been for Mom. 27 of 31 minutes. So Jordan has been on the sidelines for only four minutes. Against Tucker. Open man. Scotty Pickham. Two point basket. You can see Michael's been going to the line at a high rate, you know. Uh, during the course of this, the entire playoff series, he's up over 10 foul shot attempts, and in this one, at 10, and in the first half, he had 11 breakaway <laughs> foul the way he plays. Tell you what, put in your suggestion. Point there, the two centers, Cartwright and Ewing, each with three fouls. Because he's every bit as dangerous a three point shooter as two from the top of the circle. Jordan going around Wilkins, reverse layup. But I don't think we're going to quibble with anything Michael Jordan does today, will you? No, nah, he's uh, he's really moved his game. I mean, we say he even he thinks that he can card right. Mixer slamming against the glass, but come up with nothing. Jordan and Jackson. Here's Pippen. Good basket. Now let me tell you, that was just a great move by Michael Jordan and a terrific catch and movement by Pippen. Just marvel at it, folks. You saw it there. Work to dividend. Jordan, turn around. Big basket. But what he's going to try to do is, with his quick hands, try to just easing about Michael Jordan today with all of the problems he has and you talked about where the difficulty would be in bringing the ball up against the trap rebounding has only three turnovers. He makes he has an injured groin boy. He's working it to its fullest today against that defense. Nine on the shot clock at the top of the circle. He's tough to double team. 38 attempting his 22nd free throw of the game. And you look at it, there's still plenty of time to play. 3.07. You're, and if you're the Knicks, you're only down five here. See, they do an excellent job on him when he gets down inside of the lane area. Jordan. It counts. And a foul. See, appreciate give and go basketball right there. Michael Jordan was trapped at half court. He passed the ball to Scottie Pippen, broke the trap, cut to the basket, received the return pass, give and go. Here's a guy who says he won't shave until the Bulls are eliminated. You can't even tell that he hasn't shaved. Get the ball to your high percentage foul shooters. Three on the shot clock. Here's Jordan. Michael Jordan has scored 11 of the Bulls' last 13 points, including this one, to give them a 10-point lead. 45 in the game for Jordan, who limped into Chicago Stadium in eight. And today's most valuable player, yes, Dolores Jordan. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, Dolores. Your son has done the amazing. 45 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists. Not for you, Dolores, but for Michael. And Light Beer is proud to present a check for $1,000 on behalf of Michael Jordan and Dolores Jordan to the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. A phenomenal performance. There is no better individual player in the NBA today than this man. When the game is on the line of playoff time and you get in from the Chicago Bulls, win two and he goes out of the game. Look at him.
to move to the conference final thanks to that man, Michael Jordan, with 47 points with an injured groin. And Chris Collins, the ball boy, and his dad, Doug, lead the court. So for Hubie Brown, Tim Brandt, and Pat O'Brien, this is Dick Stockton saying so long from Chicago Stadium, where the Bulls beat the Knicks today, 106-93. to